Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how I made this card. Now this is um folds flat like that, fits in a six by six envelope. Um and this is actually a revised version of a hexagonal pop-up box card that I made, and I'll try and do the link up the top there, and um, the little card. Um, yeah, there'll be a link in the description as well, I'd imagine. Um, but you can always search it back. It was one of my really old videos. Um, so yes, yeah, so I did a revised version. So this is a revised version. That's obviously the back where you can write. Um, I just wanted to do another version because this actually stands up really nicely. Whereas before that middle bit really did move around because the thing is the width of this is actually what is what making it stand up properly. So, um, so yeah. So this was a live stream that I did, so I've edited it down. But anyway, let's get into it. So I originally did this um, box card quite a while ago. And there is a tutorial for this on my YouTube channel, but it's from ages ago, like years ago. Um, and it used this template. This is a, what I used to do my demos. Uh, and so the reason I put the video up on my YouTube channel was so that when I saw people at a demo and they were like, oh, I don't know how to do it, I could give them a copy of this tutorial, which is to size, so they could literally just cut it out, trace it onto their card, follow the score lines, and then follow the tutorial to put it together. That was the plan. So to actually try and explain how, you know, like, because obviously if you haven't got a hexagonal die and it's not the right size, it's a bit of a pain. I tried doing it for measurements and it didn't come out very well. So I've done a revised version of this, which doesn't require having a hexagonal base. For your bases, your main base that actually makes the like the the sides of the box and also the mechanism of the box, you need two pieces that are two inches by twelve inches. Um, yeah, two inches by twelve inches, and then you also need another piece, which is your tab, which is one inch um, by two inches. So, uh, not to yeah, to one inch by two inches. So we're going to start with the two strips that are two by twelve, and I made one slightly less than two two inches, like literally a fraction, maybe one and seven eighths, just a slightly smaller, just so that then it will definitely fit. So if I turn this over, I can see that this is the one that's slightly smaller. So we'll start with the the one that is two inches, definitely two inches. So what you want to do is you're going to score this one um, every two inches, basically. So you're going to score it at two inches, at four inches, at six inches, at eight inches, and at ten inches. And so that's your um, that's your sides done. Then we're going to take the other piece, which is just slightly shy of two inches by twelve inches. And this one, we're going to score at two inches, at three and a half, at six, is that right? At six, yeah, um, at eight and a half, and at ten. Okay, so that's that one. We put that one to one side, and then if we take the other piece, which is the one that is one inch by two inches, you're going to score along the one inch edge and you're just going to score it in half at half an inch and this is going to make the tab which is going to stick everything together um right so the bit that we've just scored in half we're just going to fold that in half and that's actually going to be our tab that's going to stick our side bit together so that's our little tab piece and we can go ahead and add red tape on both sides of that if you want to use wet glue you can So yes, yeah, so you end up with a, a tab like that. And then if we take the piece we did first, which was every two inches, I'm just going to go ahead and fold and burnish. So in a minute, we're going to stick this little tab in there like that. But before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to take the other piece, which is this one, which is not got it's not got regular score lines on it. You're going to fold it down the middle. So that it's like a, um, it's basically a, a mountain fold. And then what you want to do then is the other two are going to be valley. So you want valley, valley, mountain, valley, valley. Okay, so you end up with that weird shape. So what we're going to do now is on the inside bit here, we're just going to put some either glue or tape and just stick those two bits together 
like that. I'm going to use wet glue, I think, because I want it to um, I want it to stick properly. Okay, so you end up with that. Okay, so you end up with that piece there, like that. So now what you're going to do, I'm going to quickly show you my sample so you can see where we're headed. So this is not decorated. This is just my sample that I made out of scrap card. So this is the, um, so this last one that I just used, this is the 2 by 12 again, but it's the slight, yes, yeah, just under 2 inches. So it's 1 and, well, it's not even 1 and 7 eighths. It's 1, you can do 1 and 7 eighths actually. 1 and 7, 7 eighths by 12. So that's this one. It's the one that's not scored regular. The one that's literally 2 by 12 is scored every 2 inches. Okay, so this is the um, little sample card that I made. So as you can see on this, I don't know if you can see this bit at the bottom here. So this is the bit that was a hexagon on my other piece, on my other card that I did. Um, but this time around, I've done it slightly differently. So this is this bit, right? Now you'll, you'll make sense in a minute. And when this goes in the card, if you put it like that in the envelope, it's going to measure more than six by six. But if you pop it down this way, then that by that measures six by six. Okay, so this is where you need to pop it down. So with that being the case, we are now gonna stick our, these pieces together. I'm gonna come to this in a minute. And then we're gonna stick it together and kind of wrap this round. There was different ways of doing it, to be honest with you, but this is the best way that I think I found. If you find a better way, please let me know. So this piece here. So what we then need to bring in is our upright pieces. So our upright pieces, you need two pieces that are of base card that are four and a half by six inches. So there's my two pieces. Then you need two matte pieces to go on it that are four and a quarter by five and three quarter. And then you need one pattern piece, which is what I've got here. One pattern piece that's four by five and a half and one planer piece that's four by five and a half. Now, obviously, this would be a plain white if you want it to be. But I had these inserts that I've been given and I, just, I never normally use them. And I thought, actually, I can use that for this occasion because it's a wedding. I can use this. Um, so I could just put two, you know, the happy couple, whatever, love me, etc. blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, so like that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this matte and pattern onto the front of there. And this matte and, matte and white, well, it would be white card, onto the front of there. And then we're going to start decorating up and sticking things together. So I've got my two four and a half by six pieces of uh, card. So now what we're going to do, I think, is if we stick this, yeah, let's stick this onto here, and then we'll decorate the front of this piece, and then we'll assemble. I think that's probably the best thing to do. So we're going to start with um, this piece here. It's going to stick on there nice and centrally. You need to make sure it's central, and you need to make sure the base, the bottom here, literally fits nicely into that crease so that then it will fold up like that so what I would do is probably stick it in like that the other thing that I want to try and do is I'm going to actually make sure I'm just going to measure it because I do want this to be bang on you know central um and one see when I made when I made my sample card I actually stuck this piece in after I'd put the mechanism in but I feel like it's going to be easier to stick it onto the mechanism first and then stick it into the card. So we will find out. Um, yep, one and a quarter, one and a quarter. So that is actually very straight, which is good. That's bang on. So I'm just going to take um, a pencil. If I can find my pencil. Where's my pencil gone? Oh, I'll use a pen then. doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it anyway. I'm just going to make a little mark around here. So I know where to put my glue. Oops, Daisy. It doesn't matter if you draw on this or if you accidentally draw places you shouldn't draw because you're going to cover all of this up. Um, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with wet glue just to stick this bit down, and then I'll probably go with red tape for the other bit. So this is going to end up quite thick because, as I said, I'm using 300 GSM card. I might live to regret this. We will find out. Right. So that's going to go on there like that. Just smooth that off. Okay, so that's the front. Okay, and then you've got that little flappy bit there. If I turn it sideways, you can see. 
Okay, and then on the other side here, we're going to stick our other piece like this. And then we're just going to, what I would do again is fold that side up just to make sure that it will definitely stick fine. And for this one, I think, oh no, I'm going to go, I'm going to go wet glue. I'm going to go wet glue. I was going to go with red tape, but I think I will use wet glue. I'm just a bit concerned because I've got that big bulk in the middle. So what I might do is I might do a bit of both. That needs a bit of wet, oops, and a bit of red. Let's not throw my lid in there. Mm. Should I just risk it? No, I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to risk it with just wet glue. See how we go. So I'm just going to lay this on top, just making sure it fits nicely. Just making sure that's into that bottom edge there, like that. Stick it all down, like that. And then you should end up with that, hopefully. So on its side, you should end up with that. So you've got your two little wing pieces up and up and down. Okay, so there's the front and there's the back. So now I'm going to go ahead and decorate the main piece. So let me put that to one side. So on this main piece here, you need six mat pieces that are one and three quarter by one and three quarter and six pattern pieces that are one and a half by one and a half. Now I've gone ahead and stuck my mat, my patterns onto my mats already, just so you don't have to sit and watch me do it, because you're gonna have to sit and watch me stick them onto here. So I thought, let me minimize the boredom for you. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. So they're all gonna fit on here like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick them down. Right, so the other thing as well we need to do before we do anything else is we're going to stick our little tab piece on. So let me turn this over and I'm going to stick just one side of my tab just onto one of my ends there. Making sure that that, let me do this side actually, being right handed. Making sure the folded bit, the middle fold, lines up with the cut edge on your card. Okay, like that. And then you just want to work out where you want your tab to sit. So do you want your tab at the back there? Um, and actually, I think I probably will have it at the back. Because under a, with a normal card, you'd see it. But because you're going to have a big piece in the middle, it's nice to do this like that, isn't it? Because you're going to have a piece here, you're not going to see it. And then when you look from this side, it's going to be hidden. So I think I'm going to put that there. I think that's probably the best place for it to go. The other place it could go would be there, which actually also is quite a good place. Now let me put it on the side. I'm going to put it on the side. Going to put it on the side. Right, okay, so I think we need to put this in first and then stick the middle piece in. So let's um, open this up. I'm going to fold that tab over and then halfway, so you've got one, two, three squares, then you've got a, a fold line. So if you fold along there like that, and we're literally going to stick that down. So just fold it over and stick that down. Oh, so that's that red tape off. You can use wet glue if you want to. So there's your little hexagon piece. Okay, so that's it from the front. And my little, there's my tab there in the side. There's my tab. Right, so then we're going to bring this back in again. Um, and what we want to do is you want to do it so that it is like that. So what's going to happen is this is going to slot in. And this square here is going to stick inside there. This square here is going to stick inside there. So you want to slide it down so that it literally fits like that. And then we're going to stick that down. And I am actually going to use wet glue just to make sure it definitely fits in the right place. You can use tape, but I feel like I'm going to have a bit more grace if I use wet glue. I'm also going to use one side at a time because, again, I think that would be a good idea. So we're just going to slide, let's just hold that down, slide this down, like that, line it up so that it fits like that. You also need to make sure it's nice and straight, which I think that is, hopefully. All right, so I've just stuck that onto the inside of this panel here. There we go, like that. So when you put it down, you can see it's kind of 
sticking in there. So now we're going to do the same with the other side. I'm going to turn this over. Oh, sorry, downwards. Turn this over. And again, I'm going to put some glue on the inside of there. I'm hoping this is going to stand up properly and behave itself. We will find out in a minute. I'm going to put some glue on the inside here. Like that. And then I'm just going to fold that in and stick that under there like that. And then stick that down like that. I'm just going to wait for that to definitely stick just to make sure. And then when you pop it up, it should, I know I should pop it the way a little bit. Yeah, so it stands up nicely. So that's the top view. And from the front, that's what you see. But it just stands up nicely. Um, the card has deliberately been done that width so that it kind of holds it. Because one of the problems I had with the other box card was that this middle bit, because it wasn't secured by anything, it was a bit wobbly, it used to wobble backwards and forwards. So at least with this, it does stand up. I was originally gonna try and use it with a circle. So if you look at, you can see my circle die cut here. I was gonna try and do a circle, but if you use a circle, it then doesn't, there's nothing to keep it and it kind of wobbles and it doesn't hold up properly and whatever. So that's why I've done it so that it's um, four and a half by six, because then it does actually stand up. And if and actually this this card weight, 300 GSM, works well because it feels really solid. When it's up, it feels really solid. And then on the back, obviously, that's where you're going to write. So then here, all we need to do now is I'm just going to put my little um, greeting thing. Little, oh, it's a topper, isn't it, really? I'm going to put that on there and then I'll probably decorate with something after so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to pop it up the opposite way so this is the way you don't you're not going to have it but just so i can fit this on and then i think i might actually have it on pads um if you do it on pads obviously you've got to think about postage and whatever but i'm actually going to be hand delivering this so that's what it will look like when it's um when it's up and then what I think I'll do is I'll probably put some flowers. I might have some flowers coming out of here or maybe at the front. I'm not sure yet. We'll just see. And then that's the back section. And then I'm just going to put a congratulations on the front, I think. Um, yeah. I think that's probably what I'll do. But yeah, it stands up all right. It looks good from the front. I mean, it's difficult to show you. But yeah, but it's definitely an improvement on um, the original hexagonal box card because I did have a few problems. Um, it was quite nice having the hex skin in the middle, but it did, as I said, it did flop around quite a bit. So yeah, so that's that. And if you wanted to, you could put some more at the back. I'm probably going to leave the back blank. I'm just going to have that there. I've only got two more of those. Um, burn ones so I think I'll just leave it on the front because the front is the is the um is the star of the show okay so that's the finished card I finished it off embellished it etc so I ended up putting the little ferns in the front um I was going to put them someone suggested to put them on an acetate strip and I was going to do that but I think I probably would have done it if I was home alone like just doing it by myself but because I was on a live stream I decided not to go for that road um and so I went with this one and just did I was going to do a card strip but that didn't really work so I've just done little squares behind with the ferns stuck on and then I've also die cut out this congratulations um and put that on the front and that's it really so that's it finished uh and as I said before it just folds down flat like that and it fits in an envelope for a 6 by 6 card. So I hope you enjoyed today's edited live stream. Um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. If you want to join my channel and help me out and become a member, um, one of the Crafty Icicles, an actual official Crafty Icicle, um, then click on the uh, membership button. It will be up there. I think this is about join. I think when you go live as well, it, it, it comes up then as well. Um, and you can also say thanks um, and by clicking the heart. And you can also support me by going onto the buy me a coffee bit, a um, little, little PayPal link and click on that and you can support me on that. All support is very, very, very much appreciated and just helps me do what I do. But thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.